How's it going everyone? So at the beginning of this year, January 2019, I made a video called Procreate vs Photoshop, which one do I prefer? And in that video I said that I prefer Photoshop. And there was a number of things that made me choose Photoshop over Procreate, and why I didn't really use Procreate too much. But since then, in the last couple of months, I've been using Procreate a lot more. In fact, it's my go-to software now when I want to draw or illustrate or whatever. There are a number of things that Photoshop does does do better, but I'll, I'll get into that a little later. But I just wanted to say up front that I do use Procreate a lot more than Photoshop now. But that being said, let's compare the two, let's see which one is better for you and your situation. And just to be clear, this video is comparing Procreate for the iPad versus Photoshop for desktop. So not Photoshop that's on the iPad because that was a giant letdown. Which is actually the reason why I started using Procreate again, because I wanted to try it compared to Photoshop and Fresco. Those two programs didn't really work out the way we expected them to, so that kind of forced a lot of people to try Procreate out and start using Procreate more because they wanted something more convenient. Also, I should note that I'm making this video for illustrators, just character designers, you know, just anyone who draws or uses it in that way, not really for photographers. But anyways, yeah, so this video is comparing the desktop Photoshop versus Procreate for iPad. All right, so in order to talk about these two programs, I'm gonna assume that you guys already know what hardware you need in order to run these programs. Obviously with Photoshop, you're gonna need the desktop or some sort of laptop, and for Procreate, all you need is your iPad with an Apple Pencil. All right, so the first thing we're gonna compare is pricing. Now this is a big one because a lot of people are moving away from Adobe products because of their subscription-based model. If you're just getting Photoshop, it's $10 a month, it comes with Lightroom, and you know, that's a pretty good price. You know, $10 a month it doesn't sound like too much compared to the whole Creative Cloud. So that comes out to $120 a year versus Procreate, which is only $10. Just $10, you don't have to pay anything else. And it's a very, very powerful program for the price. So even if you're not really sure if you wanna get into Procreate, and you think you might try it out later, I would say buy it now just in case because you never know when they realize that their program is worth a lot more. So the obvious choice for people who don't want to break the bank is going to be Procreate, right? It's a good place for hobbyists to jump on, it's a good place for first-time digital artists to try out, and the crazy thing is a lot of professionals also use Procreate on their personal work. Now, one of the problems for a lot of people is that Procreate isn't the industry standard. Photoshop is. So because of that, you're not going to be able to choose which program to use. You have to use Photoshop, so the price tag is not going to matter. And so that leads into our next category, which is industry standard. If you're pursuing to work in the game industry, the animation industry, um, anything that has to do with making art for video games or film or TV, you're going to have to learn Photoshop, at least for the time being. So unfortunately, if you're looking to work in commercial art, Photoshop is just a program you're going to have to pick up. That being said though, if you're a freelance artist or some sort of independent artist, you can be using Procreate or Photoshop. It doesn't matter. As long as you deliver the drawings that you need to deliver, then you should be good. So the next thing I want to talk about are the tools in each program. Obviously, Photoshop has way more tools and that's because they've been around longer and also because originally it was only for photo editing. So there's a lot of tools in Photoshop that you can use and utilize for your drawings, but there's gonna be a lot of things in there that you don't use as well. It's very dependent on the type of work that you do. So I think for a lot of concept artists, they're gonna stick to Photoshop because there's so much more that you can do with photo bashing and just different cool 3D things as well. So um, if you're into that kind of stuff, definitely check out Photoshop and not so much Procreate. So for the type of work that I do, as you can see on the screen here, Procreate works really well. So anything that I need Procreate to do that I usually do in Photoshop, I can probably do. Whereas I can't say that the other way around because Photoshop, I feel like, works with shapes better and I like the way the transform tool works more than Procreate. So when it comes to like designing more graphic things like the pins that I have in my shop, I usually go to Photoshop because it's easier for me to maneuver in that program. But when it comes to drawing and illustrating, I definitely gravitate more towards Procreate just because of the convenience. Now when it comes to brushes, I can't really say too much because I use a very limited amount of brushes, but from what I've seen, they both have very good brushes for textures. Photoshop's well known because of Kyle Webster who designs a bunch of different brushes that mimic traditional brushes. And Procreate, there's a lot of people starting to share their brushes as well. So 
I can't really say one's better than the other, especially now because Procreate just updated their brush engine and also you can import your Photoshop brushes into the app now as well. Now the last thing to mention is user friendliness. In my personal opinion, I think Procreate's definitely the winner here because of how easy it is to get into the app. If you're a first time digital artist or if you're someone who's been struggling to find a program that's easy to learn, definitely look at Procreate because they've got a very simple UI and all the tools are there and you can figure out what they do pretty easily. Obviously there's gonna be some gestures that you have to figure out on your own, but for the most part, it's a very easy program to learn. Whereas for Photoshop, the moment you get in for the first time, it's very overwhelming. You don't know what anything does, you don't know the keystrokes, you don't know what all the menus are, so it's definitely a lot harder to learn because there's so much going on. Obviously because it's also a photo editing app, there's just too much stuff in there to take in all at once. So here's the final question, which program is right for you? And that's going to depend on the type of work that you want to do. Like I said before, Photoshop's the industry standard. If you want to get into commercial art, you're going to want to learn Photoshop and maybe use Procreate on the side for doing sketches and whatnot. Also, if you want to get into designing for live action film or video games, a lot of times they use a technique called photo bashing, which I mentioned earlier. I haven't really seen too many people photo bashing in Procreate. And for Photoshop as well, there's different things that you can import. So if you work in 3D with ZBrush or Maya or any of those 3D programs, you can import your models into Photoshop and work with them there so that you can make a full-on illustration or concept design. Procreate's definitely there for the hobbyists and just people who don't really need to use all those crazy tools that Photoshop has. Definitely better for people who work in more of an animated style or people who just want to use it for drawing rather than using all those photo manipulative tools that Photoshop offers. I should mention though that I do recommend learning both. Photoshop's definitely good to know, especially if you're going to be working with other people who use Photoshop. So you can be transferring files between one another and they're able to look through all your layers and they know how to use the program. But if you're just getting into it for yourself or you're just trying out a digital art for the first time, I would check out Procreate because it's a lot cheaper and it's a lot easier to get into. That's pretty much it. Uh, I know this didn't really say which one's better than the other because I don't necessarily think one's better. In the end, it all comes down to preference and knowing what you need to get done. I hope this video is informative. I hope it helped you kind of decide what you want to use. If not, um, I'm sorry I wasted your time. But if you have any questions about either programs, uh, definitely leave them in the comments below. If I don't know the answers, there's plenty of other videos out there that kind of explain everything that each program does. Last thing I want to mention is to check out my shop, shop.jessieffendi.com, link in the description below. Um, I have pins, stickers, and I think that's it right now. <laughs> oh, and a keychain. And uh, I will have prints up eventually, so keep an eye out on that, and I'll see you guys in the next video.